Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forza Thon guide called Four Leaf Clover which wants you to own and drive the 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. So without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car. Now this will set you back 120,000 credits from the auto show. You might be able to pick one up in the auction house a little cheaper if you look as well. Now I've created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon, the share code is 918-581-931 and hopefully it should help you out a little bit. Now the first challenge here simply wants you to win a drag race, so to do this we're going to head over to the festival drag strip. Now here I have a blueprint race set up for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon drag strip and the share code is there on your screen. This is a normal drag strip uh, race but without any AI driver tiles, so you are of course guaranteed your win, so it doesn't matter necessarily if you have a tune on for this or not, but just know as soon as you finish it, you'll have won and that's the first challenge complete. Moving on to the next one here, once you to earn three stars at speed zones. Now this doesn't have to be three stars in one go, it could be two and one stars for instance on different speed zones. Now the one I went for was a festival speed zone, so it's really easy to get three stars on here and the method that I've shown before is just basically by riding the wall, picking up enough speed and crossing the marker at over 110 mile an hour to get three stars instantly, that's the quickest way to do it. Or you can go back around and do it again if you only got two stars. Now the final challenge here wants you to earn a total of 50,000 points at drift zones so you can use whatever drift zone you want for this as long as you are confident enough that you will get 50,000 drift points across the zone. So I went for this farmland one but you can use whichever one you want it really doesn't matter. Like I said it just depends on how confident you are with drifting and with using this car. If you're not that confident, go for a slightly longer drift zone so you can just get it done in one run. Um, but it doesn't matter, you can always come back if you only get, for instance, 30,000 points and do it again to get another 20,000 points. It's really not a big deal, just as long as you get a total of 50,000 points on a drift zone. Uh, you could also do this in one of the Horizon Live events as well. That might sort of be a way to kill two birds with one stone almost. But it's entirely down to yourselves how you want to do it. Like I said, if you're confident, just do a short drift zone. If not so confident, take a longer one and it'll make life a little easier. Anyway, I hope this guide has helped you out. If it has and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.